Hi everyone, we're going to consider this polynomial function and write down f of 0. Well, f of 0 is when you plug in 0 for every x and the, these x's will go away. So when x is 0, y is 30. That's your y-intercept. And now we're going to answer these questions as well and sketch the graph within this domain and range. So, um, let's look at this. Um, we have to find the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x equals 3x squared minus, um, let's see, 3x, just 3, minus 24. I just want to make sure. Um, this should be a square, so that's like a little typo. So this should be 3x squared. Let me write f of x down. Sorry about that. f of x is x cubed minus 3x squared minus 24x plus 30. It wouldn't make sense for him to write it like that. So, so now when you take the derivative, you multiply this. So that's going to be uh, 6x minus 24. All right. Find the gradient of the graph at the point where x is 1. So when you plug in uh, 1, you're going to get um, f prime of 1 equals 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 minus 24. And this is going to give you negative 27. All right, so there's that. And then what does it say? Use our derivative to find the x-coordinate of m and n. Hence or otherwise, write down the coordinates m and n. Basically what they want you to do is factor this. So when you factor it, you're going to get, and set it to 0, you get, uh, let this be 0. And uh, you can factor out a 3 here. That gives you x squared minus 2x minus 8, which gives you 3 and um, times x minus 4 times x plus 2. So we have x equals 4 and x equals 2. So now that we have x is 4, um, and x is 2, we have to plug it back in um, our original equation to get um, our y value. So you plug it back into this. So 4, it's not positive 4, it's negative 2. So that should be negative 2 here. So we have x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. So to find down the coordinates of m and n, let's plug that in. So we get um, uh, f of 4 equals 4 cubed minus 3 times 4 minus 24 times 4 plus 30. So when x is 4, uh, y is going to be 50, uh, negative 50. All right, that's your n. So your n point was x is 4, y is negative 50. And for uh, x is negative 2, plug that in. Oh, this should be squared. I don't know why they didn't put the square there. And this is all going to equal, um, this would be y equals 58. So that is your end point. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 58, or positive 58. So these are your points there, your min and maximum. We're going to sketch it and clearly mark our n and n on the graphs. 
So I already did that. Um, so negative 2 went up to 58. So let's write that. Neg uh, negative 2, uh, 58. That is your M value. And this was for uh, negative 50. And I did the sketch from, we're supposed to do it from negative 5 to 7 and negative 60 to 60. Uh, I went ahead and graphed my y-intercept here. I looked on my graphing calculator to check out negative 5 and also 7 to get an um, approximation to get a smooth curve. And finally, we're going to have to um, do the last question. So basically, it said um, lines L and L2 are parallel and they are tangent to the graphs at points A and B respectively. So this is L1, L2. <coughs> L1 has the equation uh, y equals 21x plus uh, uh, 111. So basically for AF we have um, 3x squared minus 6x minus 24 equals and what you want is to pick 21 parallel lines have the same slope so basically you're just going to put equals 21 because this slope was 21 there. And then uh, solve for that. So you're going to get uh, 3x uh, squared minus 6x minus 45 equals 0. Factor out of 3 because your x squared minus 2x <coughs> minus 15 equals 0. Factor further. This will be x minus 5 times x plus 3 equals 0. So basically uh, x equals 5 and x equals negative 3. Now to get your um, x and y, or your y, we're going to plug in in this equation f of 5. And when you plug in f of 5 into this, remember that's a square. That's going to give you negative 40. Just use your calculator. When you plug in f of negative 3, um, let's see. Um, what happens with f is negative 3? Do we need to do that for attempting... Let's see. Oh, we just have to find the B coordinate, so that's why. So all we have to do is find the B coordinate, and that's going to be your um, 5. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.